All right, you guys, I am finally down at the coast after a uh, fairly long drive, driving a little further than normal. Uh, I am going to be sleeping out of my rig tonight. Got everything all set up in there, but uh, we will come back to that. Right now, I'm going to grab my rod and get down here and uh, go see if I can't find some rockfish. Right, so this is a spot that I fished just about this time last year and uh, came out here to target lean cod for my very first time and came out here and it was just amazing god these rocks are so slick when they're moist like that kind of like walking on ice Definitely have to be careful when you're out here. Yeah, that's about as close as I want to get. There we go. There we go. Oh, first fish. Oh, ho, ho. Man, that was a really nice black sea bass. Oh, come on, baby. Eh, go figure, there goes my, one of my only peaks. Alright, well the fishing has been very, very incredibly slow, so I decided I would take a little bit of this time to uh, get down in this canyon that I'm fishing and uh, see if I can't throw a couple casts from over here and as well as I saw some uni or sea urchin as well. Oh, look at that drop. Not a place you'd want to slip and fall. Can't get down in here. That's doable. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah. safe passage. The last thing I want to do is slip and fall while I'm down here. Uh, if you guys check that out right there, that is a baby urchin. You can see how small it is in comparison to my thumb. There's a lot of muscles. Let's uh, set this rod down and do a bit of exploring before this tide comes back in. that these things are just all over the place. Now I'd noticed these uh, last year when I was out here fishing for lean cod, 
I don't know if you guys know, these things are actually quite invasive. They do a lot of damage. They eat up a lot of the uh, the kelp and stuff that's out here and just leave barren rocks. And apparently, uh, from what I read, they have increased on the Oregon coast by 10,000% pulling out of that hole right there. But if you look around, you'll see that these things have embedded themselves in the wall just all over the place. It's just amazing to see something just completely take over the landscape like that. Got a little limpet. Limpet right there. There's a big woke periwinkle snail, whatever you want to call it. Starfish in there. That's always good to see the starfish. I think they are a natural predator of the uh, sea urchin. So let's let this guy get in here and do his thing. See, I'm just kind of putting my pliers back behind here and uh, popping them out. Decent ones. We'll have to see uh, how full they are. That guy looks pretty big too. Climb back up. And back into the wind, guys. Another one of those spots that definitely would not want to accidentally come across.
bunch of water. Alright, well, when you don't catch fish, you gotta do top ramen and uni. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in old platoon here and uh, fall asleep to that. And I'm going to get back up and hopefully, uh, well, we are. I'm going to do some more fishing in the morning. Uh, good morning, guys. This, this is probably my favorite part about coming out and doing this kind of thing. Whether I'm out here catching fish or not, I could really care less. But to be able to come out and wake up. To the ocean is uh, absolutely amazing. Did get a little chilly last night. I didn't need to use this uh, electric blanket, though I did kind of have it as part of my uh, pile here. I've, I've realized that these poncho liners that I have that I got from the military are insanely warm and they're great insulators. So I always just throw one of those down uh, inside my sleeping bag. In fact, I got a couple of them. Uh, seems to work out really well. 719. Uh, overall, not too bad. I always want to keep things tidy when I'm out here doing this. Any of you guys that have done some truck camping, car camping, any you of know, that kind of stuff, you've probably realized, I mean, especially if you're like me, uh, you don't like being cluttered with all of your stuff. It's nice to have a home for all of your things. It just kind of helps make the whole experience that much better. All right, well, we are back on the, uh, the hunt. I'm gonna fish a jetty that I have not fished in quite some time. Oh, yeah? All right, well, I'm not getting uh, a whole lot of action out there when it comes to uh, bites. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my rod that I usually uh, am out surf perch fishing all right this is gonna be it oh yeah seal hut what is that <laughs> look at a double oh goodness yeah, buddy. Ugh. Woo! Ugh. Pretty awesome. We were just using the uh, little sand uh, worms that I would typically be out here using for a uh, surf perch or something like that. So we're going to throw these guys in a cooler. Two for one special. All right, so you guys, well, things have definitely died down out here. The tide has changed. All this crazy action that was going on out here uh, is gone. So I think I'm going to uh, wrap it up and head out of here. go head out find some new uh, fishing territory go find another place I can camp out for the night uh, get
get these fish cleaned up and cooked. So the adventure will continue. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.